Hello there, lads and or ladies. How's it going? It is Petrifying Pumpkins here. Today, I have a conspiracy theory video that's kind of in the middle of going viral. I'd say by this time tomorrow, it'll be everywhere, but already it's kind of widespread. People are starting to pick up on us in the industry. Big names like Jason Schreier and stuff like that are retweeting about us. Basically, it's the big conspiracy that this independent studio who revealed that they're teaming up with PlayStation back in like... April, something like that, Blue Box Studios, that these guys are secretly not really a company at all. They're a shell organization hiding the true identity of Kojima Productions and that they're working on a next Silent Hill or reboot or whatever of Silent Hill. This is important for us because we've I've, co I've already made two videos about Kojima working on Silent Hill. Both of them had to do with VR support. VR was heavily rumored for both of those things. So that's why I think it's definitely worth looking at here. But even if I wasn't VR, I'm a huge Kojima fanboy anyway. So I'm like, I'm loving this. Even if this doesn't turn out to be true at all, which I think is going to be highly unlikely. The amount of coincidences here are just unreal. Even as I'm speaking right now, they're just after tweeting. Figure out what the blue stands for in blue box. B-L-U-E and the first person who does that will be granted alpha access into this weird fucking thing it's just we'll get into it it's random it's crazy but very very exciting I wish more game studios would do these kind of ARGs I guess you could call them but I guess you kind of need someone like Kojima even if he's not involved he might not be involved in this at all it could be crazy anyway let's just get into it all right so I'm just going to pop up this reddit thread here which is like, okay, so I was looking at a red thread yesterday. That one got removed. I don't know why it got removed, uh, but for whatever reason, it got removed and it was copied and pasted into this brand new Reddit, which is dedicated called the Blue Box Conspiracy. So, or slash Blue Box Conspiracy, if you want to check that out yourself. So this is where people are putting all the evidence together that something's not right here. Something's going on behind the scenes. Here are all the possible hints that Blue Box Game Studios is related to Kojima and Silent Hill. I think I might be a believer. There are several points that hint towards Abandoned, which is the name of the game they were teasing. I guess I should mention that. They teased this game with like a minute long gameplay trailer. If even that, it was just like a first person guy walking around in the woods with a handgun and a bit of voice work was playing. Everyone kind of like looked at it, they were like, okay, this kind of looks interesting enough, too early to see or too early to tell or judge. Uh, and then it kind of went off the radar for a bit. Even though this like was kind of speculated, that it had something to do with Kojima even back then. It's only really gaining steam recently with all this kind of crazy stuff. I've tried to compile all the ones I could find for the moment. Okay, so first things first. The tweet that started this all. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is what happened. This tweet here, which is what blew it up recently. 15th of June, which is three days ago. They tweeted this. Guess the name. Abandoned equals first letter S, last letter L, reveal closing in so this revealed that the name of the game isn't actually abandoned that's like a working title or something and the first letter of the actual name starts with an s last letter starts with l obviously everyone jumped to silent hill you know i mean it could be other things like survival it's probably a bunch of other words out there that start with s and end with l but there's no way they didn't think that when they were putting this tweet out they couldn't have ignored the fact, and of course everyone jumped on, including myself, you know, and there's more hints and stuff down there. This is a dangerous game, friendo and all this kind of shit, yeah. So that got people in a frenzy. Rightfully so. You should all be in a frenzy right now. I'm in a frenzy. Kojima used a fake studio when teasing both Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, and PT. So Kojima has a history of doing this shit. First, he did it with Phantom Pain with Moby Dick Studios, and they even had a Twitter account, and the Twitter account would came out and denied us. Like, they have denied it. They're like, oh, we're not associated with Konami, we're not associated with Kojima, this is not Silent Hill, we're, we're sorry that we did this, etc., etc. But the Moby Dick Studio did something similar. They're like, I don't know why people are comparing us to Metal Gear Solid, this is completely original or whatever. So you can't trust that either. And then, of course, PT, which like just randomly dropped, it was like a, at some kind of conference show. Uh, it was being made by some studio like 77 AZs or something like that and nobody knew anything about us and of course when somebody finished this the Silent Hill trailer came on the end so absolutely there's a precedent for Kojima doing something like this next up Abandoned received a short teaser trailer on PlayStation's YouTube channel alongside a blog post hitting I guess he meant to say hinting for a release later this year 
Silent Hill Composer also teased a new game reveal for summer 2021, which was shot down by Konami. I remember this. I think we talked about this in one of my other videos about this. So they both line up together. So that's another, it's not a damning evidence, but it's, you know, it's lining up. Another clue, the animated PS Studios logo that plays ahead of first party games glows blue for a moment, creating a blue box. So that's kind of a stretch, the blue box logo thing. Plus, there's a better one about the logo coming up soon. Blue box picture question mark. This is from six days ago. Let's check this out. Honestly, I don't know what's happening in this one. I mean, I guess there's a blue box in the corner of the image he's holding, but that's that's a really stretchiness, unless there's a translation here that means something else. But I'm not going to go into that one. There's too much more interesting ones to go into. So another one, Kojima recently tweeted with words silent and hill. I did see this one. This does seem suspicious. I think it was like a book. He's reading these books. And his thing here, thanks Harper Books, The Silent Wife by Karen, blah, 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 blah. Then there's Joe Hills, Silent Hills. It's not even Hill, it's Hills, plural, which is the name of the game that he would have been working on. It is a bit suspicious. And when did he tweet this? June 9th. I mean, it's all happening very close together. You know, it's very suspicious. Next piece of evidence, your honor. There are no saved trademarks for Blue Box Game Studios, but their traders claim there are, or that they do have trademarks. That's a red flag, you know? Next up, Blue Box Game Studios YouTube banner is a bunch of hills. Yes, it is. Let's check out their YouTube channel. I guess we'll subscribe to it while we're here. And it is a bunch of hills, and you can see, well, it's a cloud, but, you know, you could see this as fog, representative of Silent Hills. Now, this could be like a stock picture, like a default YouTube thing, but you still have to pick that. So they, like, willingly picked this image. Again, not damning, but another little thing, you know? Next thing's up. Next thing's up. Next piece of evidence. The Blue Box Game Studios logo is basically PlayStation logo colors inverted. And I believe somebody else pointed out that the fonts used are the exact same it's the same font so the studios font is the same as this font over here now i'm not a legal professor or whatever you want to call us but um wouldn't these fonts be trademarked by sony a bit suspicious to use the same fonts in a profession professional professional capacity like you know something being your actual logo maybe this is a publicly available font maybe you know i'm not going to rule that out but yes another point is that it's all inverted the colors as well where it's black here it's white here blue box is a term used for phone scams therefore this is a scam you know they're trying to let us know this isn't real it's a scam next up employees at company linkedin profile use stock photos not real pictures of people their stock photos very suspicious next up jeff Keeley follows studio on twitter but i think what's more important here is that this twitter account their twitter account only follow six people and one of those people is jeff Keeley. and of course we know that kojima is super tight with jeff next up at the abandoned trailer at the 49 second mark the letters p and t are covered by trees i actually didn't check this one out so let's do that together the letters p and t are covered by trees okay i see it here there's something written on the wall it's like kill the trespassers or something so the the t and the p are covered by this tree PT, playable teaser, Silent Hills, could be a clue. That's that's one of the ones that could be maybe reaching a little bit, but I mean, it's a very deliberate shot, so it would be framed this way deliberately, so, you know. Next up, a couple of months later, Blue Box Game Studios revealed that Abandon would get its own PS5 app, which would let players run the game's trailers in real time on the PS5. This is a curiously specific thing that not even first-party PlayStation Studios games have done, so it raised some eyebrows that this unknown game studio will be the first to pioneer the feature. That's definitely weird and suspicious. Another game that got a console application as a teaser for an upcoming release, but was later abandoned, in quotations, was PT. I mean, the evidence is all adding up. We're going to get this app thing, and apparently it's coming out on the 22nd of June which is only a few days away. Uh, so we're probably going to know everything on the 22nd of June. The Twitter handle for Blue Box Game Studios is BB Game Studios, a possible Death Stranding reference. If you don't know what that is, 
the baby that Norman Reedus carries on his chest is a bridge baby, and he calls it BB for like they're all called BBs in that game. So BB Game Studio, you know. Blue Box tweeted in one of their tweets that their game would feature snowflakes of blood. This was used in PT teasers. I think this one was debunked as like an Until Dawn thing instead. So I'm going to skip that one a little bit. Blue Box Game Studios appears to be founded in 2015, exactly one year after the release of PT and right around the time Kojima was going through his breakup with Konami. So the timing adds up. Although this is like a real long con. If this was been planned from all the way back in 2015, that's kind of, I mean, I don't know. If it's, especially if it's Silent Hill and he was in the middle of fighting with Konami, then they sure, they like, they wouldn't have allowed this. So the blue in blue box, by the way, what the blue stands for is revealed up here. Best level user experience. So that's what blue box stands for. That one's a bit weird to think that he's been planning this all the way back then with everything that was going on. Very strange. Next up, blue box game studios, only other game named The Whisperer was completed by another studio and its icon is a black handprint just like in Death Stranding. So the black handprints were a common motif in Death Stranding. Uh, I don't know what this game The Whisperer is. So they actually have met other games. I've heard about this, but that these games are like impossible to find. Although maybe this one is easier to find because it was finished by a different studio or something. I don't know. One of their cancelled games named Lost Tapes is a soundtrack in Metal Gear Solid 5. So they were making a game called Lost Tapes and Lost Tapes is a soundtrack in Metal Gear Solid 5. Sam in the new Death Stranding director's cut trailer uses a backpack with the Netherlands logo. Blue Box Studios is supposedly based in the Netherlands. Can we see a picture of that? Okay, there it is. Hmm. Now I was going to say that I'm pretty sure Sam and Death Stranding anyway there was like a red, white, and blue colors, like that was Bridges Colors, like the name of an organization in the game, so it wasn't weird to see that. But the way it's laid out here, like every time I saw it was vertical, but here it's horizontal like a flag. So I'd have to go back and see if that's actually how it looks since it released in 2019, I don't know. So the guy who posted the blog on PlayStation, like the director of this studio, his name is Hassan Karaman, and his initials are the same as Hideo Kojima. HK. Okay, keep that name in mind, San Caraman. We'll come back to that. Most of the tweets made by Blue Box are at strange local time hours of around 3 a.m. The studio is claimed to be located in the Netherlands. Kojima is located in Japan, which is seven hours ahead in time. So the times are weird. If they're based in the Netherlands, why are they tweeting at 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., all these weird times? But those times line up to be fine in Japan early morning times. Hassan Karaman has an account on PSN called Sneaky Warrior with a total number of trophies 1238, the same for the Japanese Silent Hill commercial. Hassan had a YouTube channel called 2727. Silent Hills was cancelled on April 27th. Bit of a stretch that one I think. Uh, Sneaky Warrior played a game that isn't available on the PS Store that is using Siren Head as an image. Junji Ito reacted to Siren Head a few months ago and implied about working with Kojima. Let's look into this one. Let's get to the bottom of this one. So this is his profile, Hassan Karaman. And he recently played this game, Demon Blood. And it has a picture here of Siren Head. Played it two months ago for a total of one hours, and this game doesn't exist apparently. So that's suspicious. And Junji Ito, I do remember him complimenting Siren Head on Twitter not too long ago. So that adds up. Next up, this is the big one that blew my mind, you know? So Hideo, his name, translated from Japanese to Turkish means Karaman. It's the same fucking name as your man, which is the last name of Hassan Karaman, the head of Blue Box Games. Both of their names mean hero in their respective languages. And here's something I looked up, which I didn't see anyone else do. There, okay, so... Hassan, translate to this, Mote Imasu, right? So flip it around and translate that into English, and you guess, I'm waiting. Suspicious, I think, especially seen as Kojima's catchphrase and all the Metal Gear Solid games, well, I guess Snake's catchphrase is, kept you waiting, huh? You know? Uh, nobody seems to be talking about that. I've posted in the comments of all these threads, but you know. 
I guess some genius goes unnoticed. That's fine. Next up, Hassan Karaman does have an Apple App Store profile with a bunch of low quality acid flip games under his belt. The only app that's not a game is called Go Fit XL, which sits under the health and fitness category. The description of this app says at one point, personal training PT programs. No, I'm not into my personal training, so I don't know how often personal training gets abbreviated to PT like that. Suspicious. Okay, so that's all of the stuff that's been added, but I think other people in the comments, including myself, have been adding other things as well. So this is from Danny O'Dwyer, who's actually kind of big enough in the gaming media, like reporting industry. He does the no clip stuff and giant bomb or he used to be GameSpot, I think. Uh, so he says, didn't see this mentioned, but Kojima has strong ties with Guerrilla Games in Amsterdam. Not only did they give him the Decima engine that Death Stranding would later be built on, but a bunch of their devs worked on Death Stranding. Also worth considering that the current head of PlayStation Studios was running Guerrilla at that time. So if anyone wanted to accommodate Kojima's crazy marketing schemes and work closely together with PlayStation to make that happen, it would be Kojima and Herman Hulst. Them guys are tight, you know, so... That could allow all this stuff to happen. So this person here says that the flag is always there. It's not just in the newest trailer. So that Netherlands flag, even though it's not really supposed to be a flag, I think, in the game, might not be a clue at all. Okay, so this one from Shav2 says, okay, this is big. Blue Box Game Studios is from Leiden. Johan Huizinga, the author of the monograph, Homo Ludens, so Homo Ludens was like a big thing, theme or something for Death Stranding that was always brought up. So this person who invented Homo Ludens, that phrase or saying or whatever, was a professor at Leiden University. Suspicious. That should be added to the thread, that's pretty suspicious. So I agree with this person. The chances of all these facts being coincidental is astronomical. It might be more impressive for this game not to be some kind of Kojima thing. If this turns out to be actually just a game called Abandoned by a real studio called Blue Box, who are an indie studio, that might blow my mind now at this stage more than anything crazy being going on, you know? Keep in mind, in the previous videos I did where there was sources from insiders who leaked certain things, VR was very much in the, you know, in the conversation, and it was always next-gen VR. Uh, so this game... I know this game is supposed to come out in 2021, the end of this year might not make it then but then there was there was talk about there being two different silent hills coming like one of them was a reboot and then another one was an episodic kind of a thing and i think kojima was supposed to be behind the episodic thing it's hard to keep track of it all anyway uh i just love this conspiracy stuff looking up all these clues i like being here for it now you know this will probably all be revealed by next week and then all, all the fun will be over but until then I'm enjoying the fun right now, so if you want to look into us, I'll put the link to this thread in the description. Uh, maybe you don't care at all, that's fine, whatever. Uh, but this could be a really cool Silent Hill game, or even if it's not Silent Hill, something cool coming from Kojima, which, fingers crossed, will come to not only PS5, but PSV or 2. Or PS5, or whatever they call it. You know, feel free to let me know if you think I'm nuts, if this is nothing. A lot of people think this is nothing, but to be honest, I think if you think this is nothing, you're more nuts than the people who think this is something, you know? At this point, it's too much. Too much coincidence. Anyway, GG. Stay moist. Etc. Etc.